All right, moment of truth. Hey everyone, so I haven't posted in a while. Uh, I've been busy taking care of uh, this little boy here, my, my son. Uh, but today we're gonna talk about the frunk on the Model 3. So this is the frunk of the Model 3. Now the light is custom. You can watch my video on how I installed the LED lights uh, by clicking the pop-up banner up there. But today we're not talking about the lights. Uh, I'm talking about this uh, air vent here. So the vent here is how the fresh air from the outside comes into the cabin. Now, if you see my other video about the air conditioning smelling after about a year, uh, my suspicions were that water was coming in through here and then causing something to be damp inside the air conditioning system. Uh, and so I actually put an extra filter up the top here to block some water, which I'll show you now. Okay, so with that cover removed, this is the actual vent where the air comes in from. This is the little filter that I put on top. Uh, it's, you know, meant to block some of the water, but you know, it, it still doesn't completely block all the water. The filter itself gets a bit wet when you wash the car, when it rains, for example. So, you know, it creates another mold problem, I guess, on this filter as well. So today I wanna show you a different product um, that might help prevent water coming in here entirely. And here it is. Okay, so it's basically some extra weather stripping with some brackets that go underneath the hood. Uh, I'll show you how it attaches in a moment. But basically the idea is if we had extra weather stripping here, it will stop the water from running down off the windscreen uh, into this vent area here. So let's get that installed and see how that works. So if we look under the hood, there's actually um, some rubber pieces, rubber inserts here. Um, and the kit actually gives you a pry tool to remove these rubber covers. Once the covers are removed, uh, there are clips on the underside of this uh, bracket, uh, which basically insert into the holes that the rubber, the rubber caps um, plug. So once that is removed, um, we can just pop that in and then it will have a extra rubber bracket here. And then the weather stripping can go into this channel here across all three pieces and hopefully we will help block the water going into this vent. So apart from the clips, there are double-sided tape adhesive uh, underneath the this plastic bracket. Uh, obviously give the underhood area a good wipe before you stick it on. Okay, the uh, double-sided tape um, has been revealed uh, and the center part has been prepared as well. I did it off camera, there's no need for you to see me peeling off tape. But if you look closely at the center part, uh, the outer ones actually clip over the center portion of this plastic bracket. So when you are installing it, you have to install uh, the, at least the center part and one of the sides together. Uh, otherwise, once you put the side on, you won't be able to hook the side one over the center portion of the bracket. So before I install the rest of the bracket, I just thought it was a good idea to show you the gap that is between the hood and the uh, plastic part uh, that allows water to go in. So I installed the plastic bracket on my driver's side uh, and right now the rubber gasket um, hasn't been installed yet or the, the weather stripping hasn't been installed yet. And right now I can probably fit one finger between the, uh, the plastic, which is on the, on the top of the hood, and the bottom plastic, uh, which is part of the uh, car. So I can probably fit one finger uh, between that gap. It's, I know it's hard to see on camera, but uh, it's about one finger width without the weather stripping installed yet. This is the other side. This is the passenger side in my right-hand drive model. Uh, this side, I haven't installed the plastic bracket under the hood yet. And for this one, I can almost, I can fit like more than two fingers uh, of gap uh, between the, the hood and the plastic bottom part uh, of the, the front here. So it's definitely closed the gap. Uh, we'll install the rest of it and see how it looks like. Okay, on the passenger side, installing the remaining plastic bracket. Okay, that is in. Okay, so while installing this, I discovered some fitment issues on my driver's side. Uh, this hole here, it has a, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is an additional piece of metal uh, in this hole on the left side there. 
that white part that you see inside the hole now, or the lighter part inside the hole. That piece of metal is actually blocking the clip uh, on this end. So as I was pushing it, as you can see, the, the plastic part has been uh, I guess damaged a little bit. So it doesn't quite fit. Uh, I'm gonna try and shave that off. Okay, so I just sawed off the corner of this uh, end here, uh, and hopefully that should fit inside that hole now. Perfect. So now all that's left is to slide the weather stripping uh, into the channel uh, that the plastic bracket provides us. So the weather stripping looks like this. Uh, it's got a, I guess this, I don't know what you call it, this T end piece, uh, which basically just slides into the channel that the plastic bracket gives us. Okay, that's pretty much installed. So this is the, the weather stripping, which slid into the plastic bracket. Uh, as you can see, hopefully you can see uh, there, that's the rubber gasket part of it. Uh, and I started sliding it from this side. Uh, and as you can see, there is a bit of extra uh, weather stripping, which we need to cut off. Uh, but you basically have to start sliding from this side. There's an opening here, we can slide it. On that end, on the other end, there is no opening, so you can't actually start sliding from this edge here. Okay, so it's gonna be difficult to show you the, the gap, so you kinda of have to take my word for it. Uh, but right now, I can no longer fit my finger through. Uh, when I put my finger here, I can feel the weather stripping, but there is no gap between the weather stripping and the hard plastic on the bottom of, of the frunk. So I think it, you know, it's pretty good. It's actually sealed off this area. Uh, whether or not, you know, will completely prevent all the water going in there, uh, I won't know until, you know, it rains uh, or I, you know, wash the car or something. All right, so on closer inspection, uh, it looks like this rubber gasket or this, you know, weather stripping, uh, when the lid is closed or when the hood is closed, this uh, plastic part meets somewhere along the top of this cover here. Now, that means that it's probably gonna do a good job preventing water from coming in through the grill here, which is kind of what it was designed for. Uh, but on closer inspection of this, uh, this cover here, this edge, I hope I can get on camera, this top edge of this plastic cover goes over the bottom part here. Uh, and that's, to that's totally fine. But there is a bit of a gap between the top cover and the bottom one here. So if there is fast running water coming down here, it could potentially spill over this edge and into the, the vent area uh, down there. So I think to fully complete this mod uh, to prevent water going in, in there entirely is to actually add some additional uh, rubber on the inside edge of this cover. Uh, that will close the gap between this lip here, this edge, uh, and this edge of the plastic. So the, the lid basically goes over like this. Uh, if we add some rubber somewhere here, it would close this gap uh, and it would prevent the water from spilling over, you know, if there is a large downpour over the windscreen uh, and over the wipers and so on. So yeah, perhaps another mod for another day. Uh, I don't have any extra weather stripping or plastic I can put there right now. Uh, but overall, this uh, actual strip here fits very well. I like how they use the existing holes here um, and it looks pretty much factory to my eye. Anyway, I hope this was useful uh, and thanks for watching. Wow, pretty good. There's one bit of water here, but other than that, this is completely dry.